because uh, I don't know. I want to be around. Got a lot of people I love. 2022, don't start now. It's been a loss of another legend. It's uh, it's weird uh, what's going on. You know, just trying to bring a little joy to people. Celebrated comedian and sitcom star Bob Saget has died. We've lost so many great comedians, you know, that shouldn't be gone. Saget died on January 9th in his hotel room at the Ritz-Carlton in Orlando, Florida. You know, it's uh, it's been a hard year. For so, many, for so many people. An Orange County Sheriff's Deputy official report stated Bob was discovered by hotel security who had been sent to the room at Saget's family's request after they made several unsuccessful attempts to reach him. I'm lucky I have some really great friends that I love. Inside sources say security knocked on Bob's door multiple times before going in around 4 p.m. only to find all of the lights off. There's enough real stuff going on where people are actually hurting, you know? Like, really hurting? Upon entering the bedroom on January 9th, they found Bob laying face up with his left arm across his chest and right on the bed. Hey, everybody. It is Bob here, Bobby Saget, Robert Saget, just hanging out. Bob Saget was identified and pronounced deceased on the scene. It's not a rumor because you can read the obituary. According to the Ritz, Bob had last entered the room around 2.17 that morning. He was scheduled to check out later that same day. He tweeted this message and photo shortly before that at 12.42 a.m., showing himself on stage in Jacksonville, about a two-hour drive from Orlando. The sheriff's office also shared detectives found no signs of foul play or drugs in the case. Favorite weed strain. I'm not a weed smoker. A cause of death has not been determined, and the circumstances are still under investigation. Wow. It's like everything, right? It's like everything at once. Everything at once. I know, man, and we're still dealing with the loss of Betty White. When it first started in Los Angeles, I got a, a, a guest shot and then we did a little interview. Who suddenly slipped away just weeks before her 100th birthday. Betty White! Yes, sir. R. Rest R. in peace. Yes, sir. St. Olaf. Man, they got, man, her picture can go up there with big impact. According to reports, our Golden Girl passed away on New Year's Eve, nearly a week after suffering a stroke. Then the trailblazer. Sidney Poitier does not make movies. He makes milestones. The iconic Mr. Sidney Poitier passed away on the late hours of January 6th, according to a family spokesperson. Poitier once called his driving purpose to make himself a better person. He did. And he made us all a little bit better along the way. Just sending love and a little bit of preaching. Sorry. It's the Danny Tanner in me. Bob Saget first gained fame in 1987 when he was cast to play Danny Tanner on the hit ABC sitcom Full House. My favorite episode of Full House. I used to say the last one as a joke, but now I just, I miss uh, being with everybody. One of his co-hosts would go on to become a convicted felon in the college admissions scandal. Lori, 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 pay for my tuition, Lori! Lori! In 1989, he became an even more ingrained household name as the host of America's Funniest Home Videos. I'm getting on a plane and I'm going to go see family, which I'm excited about. I got a new niece. Well, it's not, it's my sister-in-law's baby. It's not, I had nothing to do with it, but I get to see it. Play with it, throw it up in the air, catch it. Saget enjoyed a long and celebrated career as a stand-up comedian while working in film and television, both in front and behind the camera. Am I still in touch with the full and fuller house cast? Of course, of course, forever, till the end of time. We were in touch all those 20 years we weren't uh, doing the new show. Bob Saget is survived by his wife, Kelly Rizzo, and three daughters. Do I have a real daughter? I have three daughters. I have a, uh, a 33, a 31, and a 28, and I love them. Very, very much. John Stamos, who plays Uncle Jesse on Full House, says he's broken, gutted, and in complete and utter shock. John says he'll never have another friend like Bobby. Family matters in his Full House. Jalil White, better known as Urkel, also remembered one of America's dads. Go as far as you can. <laughs> yeah, check the oil. Sure. We can Deeper. always put more in. Deeper. Wait, longer, longer. <laughs> Hold on, let's do it again. Let's do it again. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you went up there. Yeah, that's not fun. <laughs> Are you done? I'm done. I'm gonna let you do it again. <laughs> right a little piece of brain on the end of that thing. Full House will be 35 this September. Nearly a decade ago, the crew celebrated 25 years since the first episode of Full House premiered. The cast got together for a party in LA. Everyone was there, including Steve and Kimmy Gibbler, who says this one hurts. He had the biggest heart of anyone in Hollywood.
as usual, the Olsen twins skipped out on all the events. I don't think they really liked them, but they issued a statement saying, quote, Bob was the most loving, compassionate, and generous man. We are deeply saddened that he is no longer with us, but know that he will continue to be by our side and guide us as gracefully as he always has. Bob Saget was 65.